Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, I will be showing you how to actually import whatever Python module you want. First of all guys, I highly suggest you to install a Visual Studio Code because our tutorial is going to be in it. So how you can uninstall it, you just have to go to your browser, search for code.visualstudio.com or just type in Visual Studio Code and click on the first website. After that, download it for Windows. If you have Windows, if you have any kind of other like version for, for example, Mac OS or Linux, you can install it as well. You can also use this in your web. No. Let's say that you open this application and you have it. So first of all, we need to have the Python uh, script, so or the Python language added to our software. How we can do it, we just have to go to extension. If you don't have it already open, just go into Control Shift X and you will find it. So let's go to extensions and search for Python. Here we go. And as you can see here, I have already added Python to my library. So here it is Python installed. And basically, you just have to install it. After that, let's go here to file, new file, and let's name it, for example, hello, and let's name it py. Here we go. Yes. And here it is. So, this is pretty much simple to import anything in Python. All you need to do is note the module that you want to import it. So, for example, if you want to import Flask, you can only just go here and add whatever, like whatever thing you want to import, and you add it next to imports here, and it will be directly imported to your uh, Python or your Visual Studio code. And of course, you would need to have this module installed on your PC in order for it to be imported in here. So yeah, guys. So the first thing that you need is having Python in your uh, Visual Studio code library, and then you have to have the module that you want to import it on your PC. So yeah guys, that was it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and thank you for watching.